Let's go. Thank God it's Friday and this is your life boy today. Always here with you every day. Today is Friday, the fourth day of November 2022. And your life boy wants to tell you about the fact that God is the revealer of secrets. We're reading from the book of Daniel in chapter 2. And if you're set, let's go there very quickly. In the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar had dreams. And his spirit was troubled, and his sleep left him. Then the king commanded that the magicians, the enchanters, the sorcerers, and the Chaldeans be summoned to tell the king of his dreams. So they came in and stood before the king. And the king said to them, I had a dream, and my spirit is troubled to know the dream. Then the Chaldeans said to the king, O king, live forever. Tell your servants the dream, and we will show the interpretation. The king answered the Chaldeans, The word from me is sure. If you do not make known the dream and its interpretation, you shall be torn limb for limb, and your houses shall be laid in ruins. But if you show the dream and its inter interpretations, you shall receive from me gifts and rewards and great honor. Therefore, show me the dream and its inter interpretations. They answered a second time, let the king tell his servants the dream and we will show its interpretation. The king answered, I know with certainty that you are trying to gain time because you see that the word from me is sure. That if you do not make the dream known to me, there is but one sentence for you. You have agreed to speak lying and corrupt words before me till the times change. Therefore, tell me the dream and I shall know that you can show me its interpretation. The Chaldeans answered the king. There is not a man on earth who can meet the king's demand for no great and powerful king has asked such a thing of any magician or enchanter or Chaldean. The thing that the king asks is difficult and none can show it to the king except the gods whose dwelling is not with flesh. Because of this, the king was angry and was very furious and commanded that all the wise men of Babylon be destroyed. So the decree went forth that the wise men were to be slain. And they sought Daniel and his companions to slay them. Then Daniel replied with prudence and discretion to Arioch, the captain of the king's guards, who had gone out to slay the wise men of Babylon. He said to Ariok, the king's captain, Why is the decree of the king so severe? Then Ariok made the matters known to Daniel. And Daniel went in and besought the king to appoint him a time that he might show to the king the interpretation. Then Daniel went to his house and made the matter known to Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, his companions, and told them to seek mercy of the God of heaven concerning this mystery, so that Daniel and his companions might not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then the mystery was revealed to Daniel in a vision 
of the night. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Daniel said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, to whom belong wisdom and might. He changes times and seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. He reveals deep and mysterious things. He knows what is in the darkness and the light dwells with him. To thee, O God of my fathers, I give thanks and praise, for thou hast given me wisdom and strength, and hast now made known to me what we asked of thee. For thou hast made known to us the king's matter. Therefore Daniel went in to Arioch, whom the king had appointed to destroy the wise men of Babylon. He went and said thus to him, do not destroy the wise men of Babylon. Bring me in before the king, and I will show the king the interpretations. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is the revealer of secrets. And this had been since the ancient times when people like Babylon, I mean, sorry, people like Daniel, were taken away from Judah where he was a prince and taken to Babylon and he was still amongst the princely ones that were selected to be trained in the arts of the magic of Babylon and of the Chaldeans. But magic and wisdom of Babylon and of the Chaldeans would never be equated with that of God. And mind you, when the Chaldeans were saying this could only be revealed to God, of course they were right because Daniel was a small g God because it's there in the scriptures that Moses said that they were gods and Jesus also quoted them and said, know ye not that you are gods is in Psalm 82 verse 6 and Jesus also reminded the Pharisees when they were going to challenge him about calling himself the son of God that I mean all of you are God so if I tell you I'm a God then I am because I am connected to the most high God the God of Israel and so Daniel proved that to be one of those that the God of Israel will deal with as the gods of this earth to reveal the secrets of issues to them do you know that such things still happen today there are still prophets today that God is revealing things about of the future. And even at different levels, all of us that have the Holy Spirit are able to get revelations of secret things because the Holy Spirit is there for you today as a Christian to reveal these things to you. Even as I'm talking right now, as I'm making this recording, we are still looking for something within the house that my wife put somewhere and we have not yet found it but i have one confidence because i have learned over time that once we cannot find things ordinarily like that i just say holy spirit show me where it is and the holy spirit will reveal where the thing is questions will arise will in quote mistakenly walk to where that thing is we'll be looking for something else we'll find that that we thought was missing and i know that is what God was about doing because I can't just imagine that when I wanted to prepare to tell you about God being the revealer of secrets, that's where one little thing will get missing within my house. But I tell you what, God is the revealer of secrets. I've had so many experiences with him. You have read that of Daniel right now. He's the author and finisher of our faith. He knows the end from the beginning. He knew the beginning from the end. He's the one that connects everything. And so he has all the secrets in his hands and is the one that is able to always reveal such to you so that by the time you take your decisions, they are going to be the best decisions because wisdom is going to come from the Holy Spirit. Secret things are going to be revealed to you through Jesus Christ our Lord and you will be extraordinary in this generation. I pray for you in Jesus' name. Amen. But that is if you are part of with Christ.
Are you one with Christ? Because Christ, part of the Godhead, God the Son, is the one working with the Holy Spirit with whom secrets are revealed today. Are you set for the experience of living in Christ? Then say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. You are the revealer of secrets. And I look up to you that from today, my future may be revealed in a new light. Have mercy upon me. Let me be one with you, to live with you, to live in you, and you live in me, that I will be known as a Christian, and I will live the life of a Christian, and join the revelations of the Holy Spirit from today. I pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If you said that prayer, find the Bible believing church. I always recommend that if you are in Oshubu, Oshun State, Nigeria, come straight to the Anglican Church or the KSA Extension. There, God reveals secrets of the ministry to us. And if you want to join us in the Anglican Church or the KSA Extension, Oshubu, just come to the chapel hall of the Olive Branches Midland High School, or you can go to the drive or the KSA Extension, Oshubu, on Wednesday, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, or 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. If it's on Wednesday, you'll meet us there with the midweek service. If it's on Sunday, you'll find us celebrating the presence of the Lord or having a fellowship with Him through the Eucharist. And then you'll be blessed even as you join us in Jesus' name. And as you go out today, let's say this prayer together. Say, my God, make me a vessel that you will use to reveal secrets of great things in your kingdom and to the world. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So go out today. Remember always that God is the revealer of secrets. He will let the Holy Spirit teach you and reveal secrets to you of what you should say or do at any point in time. And you will be extraordinary in Jesus' name. Amen. I judge you faithful.